Okay, we're going to be learning how to upload a PowerPoint presentation to Schoology. So now we're going to do a Google search for iSpring Free. If you don't type in the free, it'll take you to the iSpring website where they have paid versions. But for our purposes, we just need the free one. The only thing that they ask for is an email address. Type in your email address. And then click download. Okay, once it's downloaded, you'll need to agree to the terms of service. Click Next. And then it will download. And you can determine where it downloads. Uh, I just usually use the default. And it takes a couple of minutes for it to download. Once it finishes downloading, you'll get a box that comes up that says Launch PowerPoint. Okay, if you click on the Launch PowerPoint, if you have a PowerPoint presentation open, it's going to let you know that you need to close it before it can be added to the ribbon. Okay, after you click Launch PowerPoint, you can open up your presentation and you can see that now you have the iSpring tab on the ribbon. Okay, so we want to upload that. We want to make sure that we have the box checks where it says to convert to an SCROM file. Either specify where the file is saved or make sure that you remember where it's saved. You'll go to Schoology. Click on Resources, click on Personal, and you'll click on Add Resources, then make sure that you click on Add Package. Then you have the choice of Web Content or SCORM, click on the SCROM. Click on the attached file, go to whichever folder it's saved in, double click it, it may take a minute or two, this PowerPoint that I'm uploading is a fairly long one. and then you just click Add. And now that you can see that the PowerPoint is loaded into Schoology, and you can go over and click and you can share it with classes or save it in there for later use.